Today in Mashaba Abaco, it's the 7th of April, 2022. And as I look back over the decades of the leadership in Abaco, the members of parliament, they get these positions and they just forget Abaco. I was in a meeting the other day on April 1st with the Member of Parliament for North Abaco, and all I can say is wow, just wow. But we had people that had more power than Kirk Cornish. We had Darren Henfield, that was one of the third minister in the FNM government. He's the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Darren did nothing didn't have one meeting with us after Hurricane Doreen, he had one before. Didn't care, collect the big salary, got the big perks, uh, that Darren Henfield could build the first house, buy property over $100,000. Build the first house in Abaco. Did not see that one of his relative, one of his friend, Nobody got a house built after Hurricane Dorian down there in Henfield. Then we look back at Hubert Ingram. Nobody in Abaco nor in the Bahamas has as much power as Hubert Ingram. Three times member of parliament. And all he left down there is that ghost port. All they could brag about is that ghost port that the Haitians don't even go out nor come in. The Haitians refuse to smuggle out of that port in Kupastan. The Haitians refuse to smuggle into that port. It's a ghost port, $40 million ghost. And we see so much talent all over the Bahamas, and Abaco included. And our Prime Minister Hubert Ingram, he didn't left one single playing facilities that our kids could come back and teach the next generation. You imagine Hubert Ingram and Copperstone bragging about Sabatina Fines and Troy McIntosh. They had to practice on the road to achieve greatness. And if Sabatina Fine and Troy McIntosh would have come back, they would still be practicing on the road. Where is the facility to teach the next generation? It is sad that we put these people up front to bring things to benefit us. It is evident that we had the talent. Sabatina Fines has already won the gold medal we were against the world and she won. Troy McIntosh was in the Olympics and we come right down and nothing has been done. Uh, we got Chavez Hart. Chavez is right there from Treasure Key. That's my brother's um, son, Sydney's son, Chavez. This fella has the record in the Bahamas. Nobody in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas have beaten Chavez's record in the 100 in the country. You talk about uh, Fireman, Troy, or whatever his name is. He got smoked when Chavez got on the truck. And it's so hard when uh, Chavez beat him. They still talk about the Fireman. Fireman got beat by a fella from Treasure Key. Beat him every time. Got the record but he's not recognized because he's from Abaco. <laughs> we got Stephen Gardner Jr. He is the reigning Olympic champion. Stephen Gardner today. I was so sad when I, if y'all see where Stephen Gardner go and practice, when he comes back to keep in shape, a little hill right there in Central Pines. When he's not doing that, he goes to Moe's Island, his original coach, to get some tone up. 
But after all of these people has achieved greatness coming from Abaco, Sabatina Fines, Troy McIntosh, Chavez Hart, and the reigning Olympic champion, Stephen Gardner. We have not one single decent playing field in Abaco on a note before Hurricane Dorian. Tears come at my eyes when I saw there was a gymnasium in Bimini. We have won over five to eight Bahama Championship in basketball. Hubert Ingham was Prime Minister during the times and not one single gymnasium, not one single official decent track. I tried the softball, they kicked me out. We had a decent softball field. We don't have one pool, not one decent Olympic sized swimming pool to teach the kids. But we got members of parliament that's supposed to be speaking on behalf of these potential Olympic champions, potential uh, softball players, uh, NBA stars, but not one single official playing field in Abaco before Dorian and after Dorian, nobody has remembered the kids of Abaco. Kai remember them. That's why Kai is doing this video, to say that Kai cares. And somebody got to speak for the next generation before they turn this town into a cowboy town with kids shooting kids, generation loss. I'm trying to make some good trouble. John Lewis say, Kai Mills, if you see it, say it. Make some good sense of it. Many people don't understand when I do a video, it's for the world to catch a glimpse. And maybe somebody with authority outside of the Bahamas will call back and say, what is happening? What is Kai saying? It's Kai saying that Sabatino finds one Olympic champion. Troy McIntosh was in the Olympic. Uh, Chavez Hart, one of the fastest, it's the fastest runner in the history of the Bahamas in the 100 meters and got the record today. He's from Treasure Key. It's Kai saying that Stephen Gardner, a reigning Olympic champion, does not have one single decent place in Abaco that he could fine tune his tool to run, to practice as the Olympic reigning champion in Abaco. And nobody is seeking to change this. After decades of success, nobody cares about the youths of Abaco. Only Kai cares. Somebody got to fix something. On this date, the 7th of April, 2022, in Abaco, Bahamas, the second largest island in the country, we have a, a reigning Olympic star, gold medalist, doesn't have one single place that he could practice to go to represent the Commonwealth of the Bahamas to date. The 7th of April, 2022, Stephen Gardner Jr. doesn't have one single place to practice, to go to compete, to represent and to defend his gold medal for the Commonwealth of the Bahamas for the Commonwealth of the Bahamas have forgotten Steve Gardner as the reigning champion. This is an international embarrassment and international disgrace. And all Abaco, all Abaconian should be speaking out that a young man from Murphy Town, Abaco, Bahamas, could achieve so much greatness on his own athletic ability. And the government of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas it's not stepping in to help to make sure that it's playing field for the next generation of Stephen Gardner's.
Sabatina Fines, Troy McIntosh, Chavez Hart. There's so many diamonds in the rough. But because of the neglect of the government of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, these people are forever forgotten. And I don't believe that these Olympic champions will come back to practice on what they left 20 years ago and what they have present. They would not teach people to practice on Tower Road. It's when they care. Early video for Kuskai Care.